is something I don't talk a lot about. I'm gonna, today I'm going to review a novel. A I'm going to review a Doctor Who novel. Now, I've done comics, I've done episodes and stuff like that, but this is the first time I'm, re I'm reviewing a Doctor Who novel. Uh, this is, uh, I got this uh, at a Books A Million because, you know, they're, they're doing repins, reprints of what they consider is like the best Doctor Who stories for each of the, the 11 Doctors. And uh, I picked up one, I picked up the 11th Doctor, and there were other ones, there were other ones, but I only had enough money for it. I was like, oh, I just want to, I, I want to find one that's, uh, that, uh, that look, uh, that, uh, sounds cool. And they were all cool. I'm like, e I literally, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which is the best Doctor story. That didn't fucking rhyme, I know. <laughs> so I picked out one that was written by Dan Abnett, who most, most of you guys would know as the right, the co-writer of Guardians of the Galaxy and a few other Marvel titles, as well as DC and uh, some Image and Boom Studios. So, basically, Dan Abnett wrote... not he's This isn't his first venture into Doctor Who, I should mention. He's done audio dramas. He did a really cool Cyberman story called The Harvest. With I think he also wrote that with Lanning as well. And he wrote a few other uh, comics, especially with the, with the Seventh Doctor, as well as he did some Eleventh Doctor stuff. And that's this, uh, this is what the volume is. Uh, I'm going to review, finally I get into the title, nearly two minutes in. Today I'm reviewing, as you can see from the title, the Do Doctor Who, The Silent Stars Go By. Now, The Silent Stars Goes By, who is the villain? Well, obviously right here it's the Ice Warriors. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, didn't the 11th Doctor face the Ice Warriors in Cold War just recently in Season 7? The thing is, is that this, vault, this book came out a year or so before... Actually, no, I think this actually came out in between, if I get, if I'm right, if I got the date right, and I, you guys know if I, you guys know I suck at, you know, timing stuff and dating stuff, so if I'm right, I think this came out the end of Series 5, when Series 5 was, uh, was done, and this is set, this is basically set in between Series 5 and 6, if I'm right, so this more or less came, fuck was that? Oh, that's the cat. Never mind. If you guys hear any meowing, that's the, that's my mo that's my sister's cat. So, sorry if the mic. I don't know if the mic's gonna pick that up. But anyway, that I lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, this story is set right after the end of series five because Rory and Amy are now recently married, and da 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 da. So, and we have the Ice Warriors. Now, th keep in mind, this was not what th um, this had nothing to do with Cold War. This has nothing to do with Cold War. And it's basically the first time the, you could say, because it's hard to say with continuity in Doctor Who of what's canon and what can be counted as canon and what can't be. So you could technically say this is the, the 11, Matt Smith's Doctor first encounter with the Ice Warriors. And I gotta say, I really love this. I absolutely love this. First off, Dan Abnett really knows how to write Matt, Smith, uh, Matt Smith's Doctor as well as Amy and Rory. I love how he plays off these characters very well. There are some moments where I'm actually laughing at Matt's, uh, at the Eleventh Doctor's uh, dialogue. He writes them so well. I love this book so much. Um, it was such a well-done story. I, I uh, love that this is so much also, you get a lot of references in here. Obviously we get the Ice Warriors in here, and it's not like, it's not the redesign we got with Mark Gat when Gatiss' episode came out. Um, and don't get me wrong, I like that design, but this is the classic Ice Warriors. We even get an Ice Lord in here. Um, we get the I we get an Ice Lord leading them. And, yeah, so the story basically is, is that the Doctor, Amy, and Rory have uh, come to a... Ta you know, they think they're going back to Earth, but, oh, they go to a kind of Earth. Basically a colony planet that is kind... It's kind of like a... The colony is based like almost um, a Puritan colony. It's almost set up like that way. And of course, oh, they're newcomers. They're evil. And Amy and the Doctor are separated from Rory, and they uh, they're separated. And we we come to find out that yeah, the Ice Warriors. Which by the way, the cover of the book pretty much spoils that the Ice Warriors are in here. So yeah, but you kind of figure it out real quick of what's chasing Rory around because the two set they go basically have two separate stories. We have Rory who goes on a separate adventure with another girl, with a girl, and Amy and the Doctor and the girl's sister, Rory's companion sister, along with her kind of boyfriend. But the colonists are very interesting. All of them are very cool as well. And also, I have to bring this up. The references they put in here are great. I love the references. We get a name drop of Victoria, 
who most of you guys would know is a Patrick Troughton era companion. We also have the Doctor for a short time, if I if I remember right, he wears the you know he wears the second Doctor's wool coat for a uh, for a short time before taking it off. So yeah, he wears Patrick Troughton's wool coat in there. He, we also get a, we also get references to the Ark in space. We get references to the Curse of Peladon. In fact, the the uh, the Ice Warrior clan is is the same clan from is not it's not really the same clan. It's the same clan, but not the same war characters. They're from the same. Um, branch, because these count, uh, this is in the past, so it's the same clan from uh, the Curse of Peladon, and we've also got, you know, we've also got stuff from uh, when the original Ice War, you know, from the original Ice Warrior story with Troughton, we also have some, uh, we also get references to uh, Legopolis, there's a tiny, you gotta catch it real quick with, Lego with the Legopolis, Legopolis reference, yeah, tongue-tied. All in all, this story is really fun. We, there's so many. It's not just the references. The story's really fun in itself. And again, Dan Abnett really knows how to write the Ice Warriors. I love how he writes them. We also have Ice Warriors all, not only using sonic weapons, but also swords. I'm talking swords and axes. The Ice Warriors. Are, when I told Duke, when I told Duke this, he was like, "God damn it! I need to read this book." And I told him, you know, we get name drops of, of um, we get name drops of. Uh, of all the cool references, like, oh, this is cool, and Dan Abnett, how, I like how Abnett doesn't just make them, like, cool little references, he makes them essential to the, like, a part of the story, and not like, hey, look at these cool little references. In fact, it took me, like, a bit of a reread to, like, oh, that's an Ark in Space reference, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the story itself is really fun. The, when you find out the story of these humans who are known as Morphins, we find out that you know there's more to their you know their uh, their colony than meets the eye, and it turns out that the Ice Warriors they start out as the villain, but they don't they're not necessarily the big villain, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I I don't want to spoil a lot from this, but it's a really good book if you're a fan of the of of course Matt Smith's Doctor and your kind. And that was another reason why I got this book was because again. Uh, um, most of you guys know that Tenon is my doctor, but I really love Matt's doctor as well. And it was, I was kind of bought this as like, oh, Matt's leaving soon. Might as well read more, you know, get more stuff with Matt. So, yeah. Uh, so that was one of the other reasons. But again, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of the Ice Warriors. So I was literally like, oh, this is before Cold. This is set before Cold War. That is awesome. This also comes off, by the way. This also comes off like a Christmas special because they make a lot of references to Christmas, and it's basically. Rory wanting Rory wants just to go uh, go home go home and celebrate Christmas and of course the doctor completely messes that up. So, yeah. All in all, again, if you're a fan of Doctor Who, the Ice Warriors or Matt's Doctor, I'd say pick this up. This was about $12 for the novel. And yeah, I now want to pick up the there are some other novels I want to get in this collection. There are uh there's one written by Terence Dix who uh, wrote a second doctor, uh, not second doctor, uh, six doctor, a call, uh, you know, six doctor story involving uh, the doctor teaming up with Winston Churchill during the Boer War, and we, there's another one I really want to get, which is a a, uh, a third doctor story written by Mark Gatiss, which lo which from the description of it, because they get the cool thing is they get the description from all the other do stories with the do with the other doctors in this uh, series for the because they were all kind of reprints for the 50th anniversary, so. Yeah, I really suggest getting this if you're a fan of Doctor Who, um, and if you're a fan of the Ice Warriors, Matt Smith, and stuff like that. And this is good for, you know, a bridge... This is a cool little... Dan Abnett basically wanted to write this as, like, a cool little bridge between the classic and the new fans. He had no idea that uh, Gatiss was going to bring back the Ice Warriors in Series 7. In fact, like I said, if I got this right, uh, this came out at the end of Series 5, and this was set in between Series 5 and uh, 6... So, yeah, we didn't know that the Ice Warriors were coming back until and they, they announced it in Cold War. They announced it for Series 7. Anyway, guys, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I can't talk. I, I absolutely love this. And, now, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to pick up the other ones. Like I said, the Sixth Doctor and Third Doctor novels are, real, are the ones really high on my list. But I really want to get all the other novels as well from, that, from the, uh, you know, 50th anniversary reprints. But, yeah. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.